This is the examination of the hidden human condition. You're listening to the Hidden Killers Podcast. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast with Tony Bruschi. So you've probably heard about the founder of Cash App, Bob Lee, stabbed to death in San Francisco. Lots of speculation initially going, my goodness, you know, who would do this? Who was out to, to kill this guy? Obviously, a man who had an amazing career and really helped to create a lot of things that we use on a daily basis. Lee was a Square's first ever chief technology office officer prior to joining Square. He was at Google where he helped lead the team that launched Android. So obviously this man, uh, yeah, I mean, quite an amazing life, but every, every tribute to him being remembered as a very hardworking, loving, giving human being. So what exactly happened? That is uh, the question. And it's probably just as heartbreaking of an answer, uh, being that it may just be 100% random. Uh, and San Francisco, if you've been there uh, recently, uh, you know just what a crime-ridden you know tent land it actually is now. Robin Drake is with us, retired FBI special agent, chief of the counterintelligent behavioral analysis program. Robin, what do we know, uh, if anything, more about this? as we go into this week? You know, I'm not seeing a whole lot more than what we knew last week on mm -hmm. it. And as a matter of fact, over the weekends, uh, the fire chief there, I think it was the fire chief, was assaulted with a metal pipe as well and was and he's battling within inches of his life. It looks like he's going to make it mm -hmm. uh, in San Francisco also. What, noted, what I noted about um, that case with the assault was... I don't I don't think I think it was a random targeting yeah. just from my observation. And the reason I say that is, first of all, there's a few things that I you note in the individual's behavior, you know, the cash app CEO's behavior. And that is one, when his dad came out and his dad called him his best friend, that's showing a healthy relationship there. Mm -hmm. People in his life that surrounded him saying what a kind and generous guy he is. He left the area because of not feeling safe. And so he moved to Miami. Mm -hmm. And so, again, these are small little glimpses and we don't have a total picture of someone's life. But through those small, quick glimpses, you're seeing healthy relationships. Yeah. Without Mostly a, help. Go ahead. I said, yeah, without a doubt, very much a healthy relationship. Continue on. I'm sorry. Yeah. And the other thing that really struck me also no, when things like this are going sideways and someone was being targeted, what you're also seeing is if they're doing something they shouldn't have been doing or they're trying to hide something in secret places, as I call it, mm -hmm. the first response people generally have is not to be as open seeking help. Sure. You know, he's he's lifting up his shirt, showing the person in the car he's been stabbed. He calls 911. He's actually making a, a very loud attempt for help. And I've seen people in the past, if they've done something and they've gotten injured or being assaulted in, in an area of their life that they're trying to hide from people, mm -hmm. that behavior generally doesn't happen as open as this. And so sure. that's what makes me say this most likely random. Mm -hmm. I mean, random for at least from the, you know, the poor guy's point of view, because he didn't do anything that he thought he caused it at least. Yeah, I mean, when you see something like this and someone who, you know, has had a very, you know, interesting, successful life involved in many things that we all use yeah. to this day, uh, and then to see them murdered, you almost think, well, this may be something to do with his money or targeting. But uh, in this case, San Francisco with their crime problem, this does appear to have just been wrong person at the wrong time. It really could have been anyone, it seems. It seems that way. I know the time of day being late at night um, is is popped up as a as a that's odd. That's a little different, mm -hmm. but it actually seems to, from what I've also read from other people, kind of fits his pattern of behavior. That he just goes out at night. He has long conversations about tech and about problem solving, and so I, I from what I'm reading, it seems to fit a pattern of his behavior. Mm -hmm. And I mean, all we can do now is kind of let law enforcement do what they do to try to find the individual that committed it and see what's going on. This is an examination of the hidden human condition. This is the Hidden Killers Podcast. The Hidden Killers Podcast. With Tony Bruschi. Probably also important to note that, you know, this got attention because it was someone who was well known. This sort of stuff is happening every single day, all the time in San Francisco. Not a city that's on my to-visit list, uh, I don't know, anytime this lifetime, unless, unless something changes, I don't know. 
Robin Drake, thank you for joining us. Be sure to press subscribe wherever you download podcasts. You don't miss any breaking updates and discussions from the cases we're following for you right here. I'm Tony Bruschi. Stay with us.